Have you ever walked into a home and seen that the whole place was positioned so neatly, so complimentary, so symmetrical? Some would say it's an art, but some would even go as far as using it as a practice. I'm Allison Amos, and today I would like to discuss what feng shui is, the religious aspect, and the belief system. Feng shui is essentially a Chinese practice of just positioning objects, furniture, and even houses based on a belief in patterns of yin and yang and the flow of qi that have both positive and negative effects. The words feng shui mean wind and water in Chinese, which represent the flow of both good and bad energy, also known as qi. The practice was first established over 6,000 years ago and is related to subjects of nature such as physics, philosophy, astronomy, and astrology. Yin and yang are said to be the two main forces in the universe. And as said in Yin-Yang Theory by Leonardo Gabrielli, Yin is the positive negative or the passive negative force and yang the active positive force. People can detect these forces in many different ways, such as in the seasons, in their food, and all throughout their daily lives. And people will go as far as to regulate their lives according to these forces. Now I will share the religious aspects of feng shui. Those, those who practice feng shui don't all collectively worship one certain being. They just worship whatever they feel is necessary and what they feel connects to them. Though most of those who do practice are predominantly Buddhist, not all Buddhists believe or practice feng shui. Next, I'll explain the feng shui belief system. A popular belief system is the four celestial guardians, the black tortoise representing the north, the red phoenix representing the south, the green dragon representing the east, and lastly, the white tiger that represents the west. Statues or pictures of the guardians are placed in their respective areas around the house. According to the five animals of feng shui by Wanda Leonardo, there is also the yellow snake, which is to be placed in the center of the home and to represent centering yourself. These figures are primarily made from natural materials such as resin, glass, crystals, mud, rocks, and even wood. When placing a figure, you put it in a dish and fill it up with water just up to where it's touching the beam's feet to represent the flow of energy. Feng shui plays a large role in making sure your home is clear for energy or qi to flow freely. You should aim to keep the view of windows clear as such things as hills and keep shrubbery and bushes away from the view. As stated in the 26 Secrets, Secrets for the Orient by Eloise Helm, the first things you or your visitors see when entering a home will set the mood for the rest of the stay. You should have the entrances of your homes be welcoming and clean. Any clutter will cloud the mind. Small accents and touches are great in feng shui. Wind chimes are good instruments for beneficial energy when placed at front and back doors. Soft music can be played in the home to elevate one's energy and make it easier to produce beneficial work and is even believed to generate money in the household. Fresh flowers and plants can bring positive energy in life when brought and placed into homes and helps to keep your own energy levels high. I've explained feng shui, the religious aspects, and the belief system. Feng shui is all about the flow of energy. It connects you to nature and the world around you. Compat compatibility with nature is accomplished by placement of furniture and other objects in the home. Relationships, wealth, success, and health are all relative to the arrangement of our belongings. If the energy in our environment is hindered or not flowing, it can cause disharmony. Feng shui aims to balance energy in order to gain attain greater happiness, well-being, 